Command Performance, USA. The greatest entertainers in America as requested by you, the men and women in the United States Armed Forces throughout the world. Command Performance, presented this week and every week till you're back from over there. Hi, gang. Once again, it's Command Performance time. It's another 30 minutes winging your way with swingy music in this corner, some punchy comedy in that corner, some socko talent climbing over the ropes, and here's tonight's referee, none other than that knockout, Janet Blair! A little, 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 little bit Coax me a little bit Coax me a little bit If you want to be kissed I'll tell you what to say Here's what you've got to say A pretty, pretty, pretty please I'm gonna pout a bit Till you give out a bit And you really insist Oh, chatter me With your flattery you know the reason why I'm teasing. What good is something that comes easy? Oh, love is grand. If you understand, it all depends the way that you begin. How soon I'm in your arms. Coax me a little bit, coax me a little bit, a little, 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 little bit. A little, 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 little bit. A little, little bit more Oh, oh, chatter me With your flattery You know the reason why I'm cheesy What good is something that can be Ben Gage, did you like my song? I uh, sure did, Janet. I'd be glad to take you aside and coax you a little bit. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. We can't your wife there, dear. Remember? Oh, yeah. Ben, why don't you just settle down to be a nice, quiet husband, hmm? Oh, that's a nasty idea. Janet, husbands always get shoved around. You know, in today's home, father is the forgotten man. Say, come to think of it, you're right. I remember one day when Papa came home and Mama couldn't remember who he was. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I'll bet your father went out and got high. Oh, he was flying. He got so high, he was leaving vapor trails. <laughs> well, you're right. Papa gets just one day out of each 365. You know, every day should be Father's Day. Well, of course. Now, take my friend Max, the fire eater. He used to enjoy eating fire. Max Fedovo? Mm-hmm. Oh, that guy could eat fire anytime. Oh, you're not kidding. And his wife made his life so miserable. Well, how so? Well, she got mad because he smoked in bed. <laughs> Oh, that's a catastrophe. Yeah, you're not kidding. But Pappy ought to be getting more publicity now. Now that some wives are being sent overseas to join their husbands. Isn't that nice? They're going overseas. Yeah, just think. A little while ago, Sergeant Joe Dokes was torn apart from his wife. Yeah. Now he has a chance to get torn apart by his wife. <laughs> <laughs> how true, how true, how true. Say, Ben, you know, um, I've invited a speaker to expand. Uh, mm, sorry. Mm, his further views on the very same subject. Well, do I know the guy, Janet? Oh, you may have heard him on his own show, or maybe on the Fred Allen program. Not Alan Reed. Yep. The Poor Man's Poet Laureate, Falstaff Openshaw. Blow the bugle, toot the trumpet. Here is Falstaff. Where shall I dump it? <laughs> Oh, 
Hello, Fab. Greetings. I trust you have come loaded with poems. Oh, indubitably. The muse and I have been wooing like mad. And if I say so myself, we've whelped a veritable litter of puppy roll. Puppy roll? That's young doggero. <laughs> have you heard she never takes a chaperone skiing? She always comes down on her own? <laughs> No, I haven't. How does it go? It just went. <laughs> How about this one? The stale glass of beer to the pretzel said, Forgive me, Cookie, I lost my head. Say, <laughs> hey, staff. Ben and I were talking about fatherhood and Father's Day, and I had hoped you might bring a poem or two dedicated to the day when the old boy comes in for his share of per- presents. Precisely why I am here. Mm-hmm. I have just the thing. Wouldst uh, care to hear it? Woods. Good. <laughs> I call it, you pull up the railroad tracks, Mother, and I'll get some ties for Dad. <laughs> oh, come, come, old boy. Be serious. That's no way to pay tribute to Dad. You must admire Dad for the intimate little memories, you know. For instance, oh, didn't your father have a nickname? Oh, indubitably. I might go so far as to say in double dubitably. <laughs> Mother always used to call him Axehead. Axehead? Yes, the old boy was forever flying off the handle. <laughs> I'm afraid you don't understand. <laughs> there, there must have been one precious little habit that your father had that, that could be the subject of a poem. My dear Miss Blair, you must have feminine intuition. Mm-hmm. You have something that's very feminine anyway. <laughs> the masterpiece of my life was written about father's precious little habit. Couldst uh, listen? Good. Uh, good. <laughs> have you heard, open the woodshed, mother, father's come home with a load? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> well, how about this one? When I hear the gongs clang and see the patrols, I know it's father for whom the bell tolls. No, 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 Falstaff. You, you, must, you must try to bring out some of the better qualities. Oh, the better, better qualities. Yes. Bring them out. Yes, yes, I see what you mean. How's this? When father ripped his pants on the chair, he certainly showed his savoir faire. <laughs> Oh, false have it's plain to see that you are not in sympathy with Father's Day. Well, as a matter of fact, Janet, at another time you might be right. But now, now I'm thoroughly in sympathy with Father's Day. I, I haven't wanted the public to know this as yet, but, well, as long as we're here, I shall read you my latest creation. It's prompted by an experience that's the thrill of a lifetime. May I? Mm, the microphone is all yours, Alan. Thank you. There's something new at my house. It just came today. That's why I'm passing out cigars. That's why I'm bright and gay. The sweetest little bundle you'd ever hope to see. And how my friends congratulate my darling wife and me. Oh, when I hold it in my arms, my heart with rapture pounds. How dainty and how sweet it is, and only seven pounds. You must drop in and see it, friends, next time you're out our way. This precious bundle that I love. Our laundry came today. Thanks so much, Falstaff Openshaw. Now, Ben Gage, I hear that on your new program with Meredith Wilson, you sing. A guilty. Mm-hmm. Well, Ben, what kind of music do you do? Sweet? Well, yeah, there's one that goes like this. It's only human for anyone to want to be in love. But who wants to be in love in vain? At night you hang around the house and eat your heart out And cry your eyes out and rack your brain You sit and wonder why anyone As wonderful as she Should cause you such misery and pain 
I thought that I would be in heaven, but I'm only up a tree. Cause it's just my luck to be in love in vain. Well, Ben. Oh, thanks, Janet. Gosh, Ben, you know, I'm awfully worried. Danny Kay is supposed to go on next, and he's not here yet. He isn't? Mm-mm. You know, traffic the way it is. Yeah, well, he's probably on his way. What do we do? Mm, let's see. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's get the officer to play something. How about a while, Seaman? Okay, Janet, Danny Kay, let me stop you before you go in the studio, will you? Oh, I was afraid you'd be here, the average radio listener. Yeah, uh, where you been keeping yourself the last few weeks, chum? Well, I've been in bed with a terrible haircut. <laughs> I suppose you're here to complain about the last time I was on command performance. Well, let me tell you, chum, that show had zip and ginger. Should have had lum and abner. <laughs> now listen, spam head. <laughs> I can entertain as well as any other star. What's Frank Sinatra got that I haven't got? What's Clark Gable got that I haven't got? When you get to Betty Grable, boy, have I got an answer. <laughs> yeah, I'll just bet you have. But look, I've really got to go inside now and do the show. Well, tell me, uh, who else is going to be on the program with you, Kay? Oh, a lot of stars. Janet Blair. Janet Blair. What a dish. Yeah. Lana Turner's answer to Jane Russell. <laughs> Yeah, and then there'll be Carmen Miranda. Oh, Carmen Miranda. She's that, that South American gal who wears them, them hats made out of fruit salad, ain't she? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I love those hats. They're so smart, so chic, so nourishing. Yeah. <laughs> well, all I can say is I hope she had the good sense to have brang her own script, Kay. Brang her own script? You mean brought, don't you? Brought is the past tense of the verb bring. Okay, brought. I saw her in that picture, uh, doll face, and she really rocked the bell, I thought. <laughs> Rock the bell? You mean rang the bell. Rang is the past tense of the verb ring. Ah, uh, nung. <laughs> nung? Yeah, that's the past tense of the verb nuts. <laughs> Now, for all you guys who are sweating it out from Tokyo to Tasmania, for you American ambassadors abroad, here's a blonde ambassador from Brooklyn. A bounding bombshell brimming with a boogie beat. <laughs> Danny Kay! <laughs> Gosh, Danny, that was a much longer scat gong. Oh. <laughs> Here we go again, boys. <laughs> Exaggerating. No, I'm going back on this one. Here I go again. That was a much longer scat song that you usually do. What happened? I don't know, Janet. I guess my scat had skittens. <laughs> Couldn't be that you're nervous about meeting Carmen Randa here tonight, could it? Oh, no. Hmm. Carmen and I are old friends. In fact, as a matter of fact, she taught me how to speak Spanish. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Can you speak the language of South America, Danny? Oh, sure enough, honey. <laughs> Shut my big old fat Dixie mouth. <laughs> Is that South American? Sure enough, honey. 
That's deep, South America. <laughs> hey, Danny, that's pretty good. Except for one thing. Yes? Miss Miranda is from Brazil. And in Brazil, they speak Portuguese. Oh, well, that's all right. I speak Portuguese like a native. <laughs> native of Portland. Listen, <laughs> listen to this. What do you call that? What do you well, call that? Dan? Well, I'm just talking in the native idiom. Mm, you sound more like a native idiot. Ah, uh, Janet, what a delight you are. Idiot's delight. <laughs> hey, Danny, I think you'd better practice up in your Portuguese if you want to get along with Miss Miranda. What do you mean, practice? It's very simple, Janet. All you have to do is put the accent upon the wrong syllable, especially when you sing a tropical song. <laughs> Upon the island from which we come, we have a national characteristic which is very strong. We put the accent upon the wrong syllable and we sing a tropical song. Upon the island from which we come, the point of interest beside the coconut and the sarong. Is that we put the accent upon the wrong syllable and we sing a tropical song. We could show the natural wonders of the scenery to you. We could show the native birds and perhaps give two or three to you. And describe the climate and also tell the elevation to you. We could very hastily introduce the population to you. But we prefer to acquaint you with the following interesting facts. Upon the island from which we come, we have a national characteristic which is very strong. And if you should remain here, you will discover one peculiar thing before very long. That you have put the accent upon the wrong syllable and you sing like these. On any topic whatsoever, for instance, I am wanting to say hello in Calypso fashion to Miss Carmen Miranda. In tropical fashion and to a Calypso greeting like Chiquita Bananas, I will sing like these. <laughs> Welcome to Carmen Miranda, for her I care, with bananas and oranges growing tall in her hair, she is the only singer, of whom it is said she has an Adler elevator head. When her song she sings, then I am glad to know she is Carmen, that's Miranda, not Lombardo, she sings the hottest style from the equator, so you must never put Miranda in the refrigerator. <laughs> So you put the accent upon the wrong syllable and you sing a tropical song. And so we say welcome to you. Wonderful, Danny, wonderful. And now don't go away, because in answer to requests from our occupation forces all over the world, here's the hottest dish that ever came up from South America to take Yanks everywhere by storm. Servicemen, here's Carmen Miranda. <laughs> Why, Carmen, what a surprise <laughs> meeting you here. You were expecting maybe Mrs. Newsbaum? <laughs> Carmen. Carmen, you know Janet Blair, don't you? Oh, surely. Eu já tive prazer ver você muitas vezes. Que tal você muito bonitinha, na verdade? What was that? Portuguese, Danny. <laughs> Say, Carmen, I love those beautiful hats you wear, with all that fruit on top, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Carmen, where do you get your hats? Picking up the clue a little bit late. <laughs> Hattie Carnegie, Lily Dashay, or John Fredericks? 
At the A and P. <laughs> well, now that we have you two up here together, what are you going to do? Well, I don't know. Uh, what do you think we ought to do, Carmen? Well, I have an idea. Let's pay post office. <laughs> Post office? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's silly. That's a kid's game. Not the way I play it. <laughs> don't laugh up your own jokes, hey? <laughs> I don't know if it's a joke or not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Carmen, post office is a kissing game, and if I played kissing games, they'd... they'd take away my Sinatra button. Oh! Uh... <laughs> I'm surprised of you. Forget Sinatra, you are not Bob Slacks, anyway. <laughs> Bob Slacks? That's supposed to mean bobby socks. <laughs> Bob Slacks? Bob that sounds Slacks. like a trumpet player used to be with it. <laughs> they come and you're so cute I could just drop dead. Oh, don't do that, Jenny. Maybe you'll kiss me if I sing one old South American love song to you. How about it? Would you come and hang with me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you then with yes, you? yes, yes, yes. This is a little, a little song my mother sang to me when I was a little baby in Brazil. Oh, those South American lullabies. <laughs> I love them. You love it? How does it go? Very good, like this. Samantha mix party poo. Samantha mix party pot. <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish. <laughs> Poodly, voot, poodly, scoot, voot, Walter Ronnie. Walter <laughs> Ronnie. Come, and that doesn't sound very South American. No, Danny? No, it sounds more like an American South. <laughs> Hey, Carmen, maybe you'd better yeah. sing one of those songs you're famous for, huh? Okay, all right. Oh, yeah. How's the one? Tico Tico. Doll face. Tico Tico? I love that song! <laughs> Tanta outra vez aqui, o tico tico tá comendo meu pompá. O tico tico tenta que se alimenta, que vai comer uma vinheta no pomar. O tico 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 tá outra vez aqui, o tico tico tá comendo meu pompá. O tico tico tenta que se alimenta, que vai comer uma vinheta no pomar. Oh, mas o papai que vai se do céu inteiro, que ele acaba com o pai no pai inteiro. Que esse tipo de gato mata meu pompá, tem tanta coisa que ele pode pinicar, eu já fiz tudo. Para ver com sua tia, botei o pique para ver se ele comia. Botei um gato, um espantalinho, uma sapoma, ele acha que o pompá é que é boa alimentação. O tico tico tá outra vez aqui. O tico tico tá comendo meu pompá O tico tico tenta que se alimentar Que vai comer uma vinheta no pomar O tico 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 tá outra vez aqui O tico tico tá comendo meu pompá O tico tico tenta que se alimentar Que vai comer uma vinheta no pomar Oh, mas o papo tira o tico 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 Que ele acaba com o meu pompá inteiro O tico 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 mata o meu pompá Tem tanta coisa que ele pode pinicar Eu já fiz tu Tô para ver com o tia Botei o pique para ver se ele comia Botei um gato, um espantalho e nossa pomba Mas ele acha que o pompá é que é boa E eu tô só O tico 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 tenta que se alimentar que vai comer uma vinha para não fumar. Tico 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 tenta outra vez aqui. Tico tico tá comendo meu pompa. Tico tico tenta que se alimentar que vai comer uma vinha para não fumar. Carmen, that was how you say magnifico, Carmen. Oh, Danny, thank you very much. Now, what shall we do? Well, I was thinking, Carmen, that maybe we ought to tell a joke, and I've got the perfect joke to tell. Okay, shoot the funny to me, Danny. <laughs> well, you say to me, Danny, my sister married an Irishman, and I say, oh, really? And you say, no, O'Reilly. Oh, we hadn't even gotten to the joke yet. <laughs> Some smart Alex. <laughs> oh, dear, I can't tell the joke. You can't tell the joke? Why not? Because my sister did not marry an Irish. She married a South American. She's married an Irish? Yeah. <laughs> She's married a South American. Oh, really? No, Jose. <laughs> Knock it in anyway. Danny, I know what can we do. Maybe <laughs> you will help me to make Americans understand my native tongue. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. That's a so? very good idea, Carmen. You sing something and I'll interpret it for the Yanks, huh? Wonderful. All right, come on. Uh, let's do it, boys. <laughs> Oh, can't 
pregoneiro que com sua harmonia traz alegria em South American Way. Voices crooning soft, soft and low Needn't tell me so because I know Sleepy time down South American way Tick, 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 boom, chick Tick, 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 boom, chick Chickory, chick, chala, chala, chickory, roll me in a banana Gabala, gawalaka, can't you see? Chickory, chick, that's me La Cucaracha Leo de Rocha Ya no puede caminar La Cucaracha Leo de Rocha Marijuana Capomar Cacacacacacarra Cacacacacarra Gala de Sotar Cacarina Carillo Cacacacacarra I never learned to speak the language Portuguese, but with the help of Mr. David Terry Span, let's talk a language we both understand. Miranda. Well, gang, it's closing time on another command performance. Remember, we're yours to command. You say the word, and we'll all be on tap for another command performance any time you say the word. And that goes for Danny Kaye, Common Miranda, Alan Reed, Hal Cantor, and our boy, Ben Gage. Just address your request to Command Performance, Armed Forces Radio, Los Angeles, USA. Well, this is Janet Blair, wishing you the best of everything from all of us. Good night. <laughs> The program was arranged with the aid of the Hollywood Coordinating Committee. This is the Armed Forces Radio Service.